What's poppin' everybody, Garden State Aviation here, back with another unboxing video. In today's video, I'm going to be um, unboxing, uh, I believe these are my United 738s, uh, but I don't know. Um, top flight models, um, Jetway models, never sent me the checking number, so I don't know which models these are. But I do believe they are my uh, NG United 737-800s. Uh, but without further ado, uh, let's get started. I do believe there's two models in here due to the size of the box. Um, if there were less than two models, there wouldn't be this big of a box. Uh, but okay, uh, making good progress. Okay, it's a beautiful day, by the way. It's a beautiful November day. It's 54 degrees. It's an awesome day for an unboxing. Uh, but, oh, this is one of those. You got packing peanuts. Um, all these packing peanuts, I'll just put to the side. Hopefully they don't blow away. It's pretty windy today. Um, fudge. Um, yeah, so I'll be right back. Okay, so packing peanut situation handled. Um, let's get to the models. Uh, so, they're wrapped in newspaper, as you guys can see. Uh, so there are two models in here, so I do believe these are my United 738s. Uh, let's close the box so nothing flies out, and let's open the models, not models, boxes, oh, oh, okay, um, we got one United 737 I'll put the newspaper back in the box, and we have two United 737 800. Um, so basically, uh, we have here we have two um, NG models, United 737 800s uh, in delivery. Whole reason why I got these models is because I need like a ton of United 737 800s for Newark, so this kind of is fitting. Um, but this is really cool. Like I've been highly anticipating this. I had the Gemini one, uh, but I traded it for you for a NG United 7810. Uh, in the Continental livery, so basically I just got these um, for Newark and for any other United Hub that I might be doing in the future. Uh, before we unbox the models, before we take a look at the models, we have to take a look at the box. Um, box looks like pretty standard um, NG, uh, Boeing 737-800, uh, you got the clip out of the aircraft, you have the um, United logo. This is the uh, United Globe in the new livery. You got, I don't know if you guys can see this, I don't know if my camera, this little United thing. Uh, you got United on the box. Um, you got United, November 26208 uh, NG. This is what the side looks like. Uh, 737800, clip out of the aircraft, NG registration. Uh, United on this side, 737800 NG. And it's the same as this side. And, oh. NG really messed up on this one. Um, the back of the box. <laughs> this is supposed to be a clip out of the aircraft. I'm guessing this is supposed to be uh, antennas. Did they mess up on the? Oh, they did. This is this is peculiar of NG. Um, this is the it's supposed to be the clip out of the aircraft with the wings, but there's no wings. Uh, but anywho, uh, here you have all the liability information and NG models logo at the top. But these boxes, they look very appealing. I mean, besi besides this, the, the boxes look very, very nice blue, very nicely appealing to me. Um, but without further ado, uh, let's unbox the two models. <sighs> I hope these didn't come broken. Like, so basically, I didn't pay full price for them. I didn't pay like $80 plus shipping. Um, I didn't pay that much money, uh, because it's basically just a normal 737 tray. Uh, I didn't pay that much money for the model because I traded my Mexicana for a $25 uh, gift card on, um, not gift card, store credit on, uh, but anyway, you have this plastic thing. It's basically normal uh, 737 packaging. Uh, here is the model. I'll get out the second one. And basically, like I said, I'm sorry for being so haphazard. Uh, it's really windy outside. I just don't want the models and stuff to blow away. So please forgive me. But 
first impressions of the model looks really nice, and there's a helicopter over my house. Uh, and you first, oh god, the box is, okay, so the model's heavy enough to fight against the wind, um, but anywho, um, I, got, I paid $71 because I traded in my Mexicana, uh, AQ-19 for a $25 store credit, um, but like I said before, first impressions is that the model looks pretty nice, um, the logo, another thing, the logo actually looks quite better than, uh, NG, not NG, Gemini's one. Here is the other model. There you go. Alrighty. Just, uh, putting these stuff back. NG737 boxes, man. These do not work well. Uh, but anywho, that done, first impressions is that the models, they look phenomenal, um, they look very nice, but scimitars, they didn't come broken at all, which I'm really surprised, uh, they didn't come broken, um, I'm inspecting, they look really nice overall, um, but yeah, that being said, let's get started on the detail segment. Starting off the detail segment, for this model, you have the um, nose comb, cockpit windows, uh, Starlines logo, unintelligible handwriting, it's too small, I can't read it. Uh, you have the forward landing gear, L1 door, massive uh, United Blue Evolution livery uh, logo. Uh, you have a white antenna, blue engines, blue split scimitars, uh, Wi-Fi hub slash HUD. Uh, the registration, which is November 26208, the American flag, the L2 door, the serial number, and the massive, uh, awesomely well done, uh, United Blue Evolution tail. Uh, and then on the other side of the model, I'm being very delicate with it, I really don't want to break it, uh, first time getting it, uh, but on the other side of the model, you have the, um, uh, you have uh, these cargo doors, which is really the only difference between uh, the two sides of the model. Uh, and of course, the wings are level. Uh, and on the bottom of the aircraft, uh, all the landing gear comes intact, of course. Uh, why would I even say that? Uh, and you have these um, red uh, antennas. Um, so that's really the only difference um, between the two sides of the model. There really is only that difference. Um, and something that I've noticed is that compared to Gemini, uh, NG made their, the uh, United logo compared to Gemini's new livery. Gemini's delivery is more like squished to like here and is more like up on the top of the fuselage. Meanwhile, NG's is more level and spaced out, which really shows the difference between uh, NG's quality and Gemini's quality. And another thing that I just noticed is that the engines, it's really cool, the engines have fan blades. Um, I know this isn't a new feature, it's quite an old feature uh, on NG's models, but this is a phenomenal uh, model. I just can't stop umming and aahing, like I said, in my Gemini United unboxing. This is just 100% quality, 100% NG. Uh, and then on this model, there really is no difference. Uh, the wings are level, and everything is practically the same. And that does conclude the oh, and that does conclude the detail segment. These models will really help me out with new work, as I need like 10 United 737 uh, 800s as they do fly to many destinations uh, from New York, which, for those of you who don't know, is the airport that I'm currently building in one to 400 scale. Uh, but anywho, my final thoughts on these uh, models is that these are two phenomenal models. Phenomenal boxes, well, I, I mean, besides barring the back, uh, but two phenomenal boxes and two extraordinarily well done models. Now, these were released um, re very recently. Um, I suggest that you guys should get them if you like delivery. And, you, and or you need the model, you should get it while you can because many places have already sold out of um, these models. But with that, 
I'd like to thank you guys for watching today's video. Please like, subscribe, turn on the notification bell so you don't miss one of our videos. Uh, and comment down below um, if you're going to get these models uh, and what you thought of my video. Once again, thank you for watching today's video, and I'll see you in the next video. As always, goodbye.